return to your Bible to God's reading service coming to you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Apostolic Faith. Bishop Dalton Green invites you to visit here at Headquarters Center, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. Service will be Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 7 30 p.m. Sunday evening. Nine coach interacts and leading some biblical literature. The mailing address is Bishop Dalton Green, PO Box 523, Bronx, New York, zip code 10457. It will be sent to you free of charge. We will now select you from the Holy Temple Singing Radio Choir, dedicated to our religious entire. I know in whom I believe. <laughs>
Glory to the light of you, God, for bringing your service coming to you. From the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Outside Faith. This year, the team, we invite you to visit us here at the Headquarters Center, located at 2075 Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Service Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, 7 p.m. Sunday morning. Now, in case you're interested in reading some of the literature, the mailing address is Bishop Dr. Green, P.O. Box 523, Bronx, New York, Zip Code 10457. It will be sent to you for your child. Dear listeners, you're invited to visit the Holy Temple Church located at Headquarters, New York City, 2075, Clinton Avenue, Bronx, New York. Bishop Green, Apostle, Pastor, and General Seer, Bishop Levin Samuel Sissy. Washington, D.C., 2635, Robert King, Jr. Avenue. Bishop Melvin Samuel Pastor, Minister Thomas, Norwood Sister. Norfolk, Virginia, 800, Elton Street, on the corner, Catholic Stella, and Elton Street, Elderly Taylor Pastor. Petersburg, Virginia, 23 South Jefferson Street. Elder Lovis Robinson Pastor, Minister Mark Woodlock, Assistant. Larson, Virginia, Route 17, near the White Marsh Shopping Center. Elder Robert William Johnson, Minister Ernest Page, Assistant. Elder Green, North Carolina, 10362 Old Lumberton Road, near the Land Cross or Elder Samuel Walker, Pastor. Wilson, North Carolina, 48 North Fairy Street, Bishop Green, Pastor. Columbia, South Carolina, 5800 North Main Street, Bishop Melvin Samuel, Pastor, Bishop Brandon Mack, Assistant. Yamasee, South Carolina, number two, Wall Street on the Highway 17. In the Yancey Business District, Bishop Willie Beach Pastor. Greenville, South Carolina, 903 West Washington Street. Bishop Curtis Ford Pastor. Memphis, Tennessee, 3196 Ford Road. Bishop Samuel Wilkes Pastor. Jacksonville, Florida, 702 Lafayette Street on the corner, Alva and Lafayette. Elder Philip Boston Pastor. Calvin, Florida, 2385 Concho Drive. Bishop Green Pastor, Acting Deacon Charles Jones, and Charles. Toronto, Canada, 475 Eddystone Avenue, Unit 23, located near Jane and French, Bishop Carl Newell Pastor. Now at this time, it's my pleasure to present unto you from the Holy Temple Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, the next voice you hear, this is the pastor, Bishop Melvin Sand. You can make me down in. You can make me down in.
we are bound to give great honor, praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, one who is worthy of all the praise. Indeed, he is worthy of all the honor, all that we can render to God Almighty. He's worthy of it all. And truly, we are very thankful. We are very grateful to God Almighty. We do honor our very own beloved Bishop and Apostle, Bishop Belton Green. Always we thank God for Bishop Green, thanking God for him allowing me this privilege once more to come before you all to fill in in his stead to declare God one and only true plan of salvation. Thanking God for the word of God. It's going to live it and it's going to abide it forever. No man live it going to be able to come along and change the purpose of God. Amen. Thank God for that wonderful selection oh, yeah. coming from the radio scene of fire. Thank God is a blessing. I'm saying it's a blessing to be fully persuaded <laughs> along this highway of holiness. You've got to be fully persuaded. Say, I know in whom I believe and I'm persuaded. My God, Apostle Paul, after he fought it a while, but after he got in it, he spake those, these words in, in 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. I'm saying it's a blessing to be persuaded. You know, you can stay around here until you're fully persuaded. Yeah. Paul got in the church after he fought it, and after he did everything. But after he got persuaded, he said, there is not another. My God, you can be fully. Listen to what the word of God said. For the which cause. For the which cause. I also suffer these things. My God, you might have to suffer something. Oh, yes. For the name of Jesus Christ. All oh, so. Suffer these things. Suffer these things. Nevertheless, I am not ashamed. My God, you know you don't have to be ashamed. Amen. You don't have to be ashamed. Amen. Follow in Jesus. My God, Paul got in it and he said, I come myself happy. Mm -hmm. For the which cause. <laughs> Read on. Yes, nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. For I know whom I have Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a blessing when you know. My God, I'm saying it's a blessing when you know. I know. Who I believe. In whom I believe. And persuaded that he's My able. My God, stay along. Stay over here. You can be fully persuaded. Praise God. I'm persuaded. He's able to do that. Who is able? My God. He God. is able. He is able. To keep that which My I can never do. Saints, we serve a God. I don't care what you're going through. He's able. Yes. My God, I don't care what you're confronted with. My God, tell the devil, my God is able. Yes, my God, one day say, God is greater than man. Yes. I don't care what you're facing. Just remember, he is able. To keep that which I commit unto him. My God, God, I don't care how bad it is. Hallelujah. Just turn it over to Jesus. He is able. Yes, he that. I, God, that's why I'm gonna trust in God. No matter what the test may be, I got a God that is able. I don't care how bad the condition may look, we got a God that is able. I'm persuaded. Yeah, he is able. I, God, that's why we're so happy over here. You go through the test. You go through the trial of the faith. 
but just to know God is able. Yes. You're coming on back glory in your trouble. My God, matter what you face with, just remember the love that, that he is able. Yes. Hallelujah. I thank God for you, Bishop Green. Yeah, yeah. I thank God for Bishop Green. Yeah, yeah. He's been a whole soldier on the battlefield. That's what have the place model. Mother Buckler coming on back. Yeah. I got the other youngs for her she, she persuaded. Yeah. My God, hang around here till you know God for yourself. You tell the world it's not another. Read it on over. Oh, the creation to know. My God, that's why we are so happy. Going back over Second Timothy 1 and 12. For the witch cause. For the witch cause. I also suffer these My things. My God, you might have to suffer a few days. But what? I suffer these things. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. My God, you can hold your head up. And lay the apostle gone on to sleep. Bishop Randall Goodwin, he tell us, don't let nothing get you down. I don't care what you face with. Don't let that thing get you down. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. You got a great God in you. Just hold your confidence in God. Read on. the witch call. For the witch call. I also suffer these things. My God, I don't care what you're suffering. The Holy Ghost will make you come on back. Yeah, yeah. I suffer these things. Yes, I'm not ashamed. My God, do you hear what the word of God said? Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. Well, I know whom I believe. I, what you said, Paul? I know. I know. And 
the 25th verse. Help me with the gospel. When the disciple heard it, they were in singly amazed. Yeah, this thing how people are amazed. And how, what kind of people is this? My God, what kind of people are like these people? My God, what is it? My God, who uh, is the type of child? Well, I know. Won't be a record among the nations. You know, people out there hearing this. When the disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed. They were exceedingly amazed. Then who then can be saved? Who then can be saved? But Jesus beheld them. All right, the love. And said unto them, You that are having yet been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Listen to what he said. Yes. When, when, Jesus beheld them. Yes. And said unto them. Said unto them. With men this is impossible. I don't care what it is. God is able. I don't care what it is. We serve a God that is able. Somebody out there struggling. Trying to get in God's church. But the Holy Ghost said. With man. This is impossible. I got you my facing something right now. It look impossible. My God, do you hear what the word of God with said? Man, this is but with man. This is impossible. Hallelujah. But with you God. might be facing something that look impossible. But with the turn it over to God. But the God. Holy Ghost said, but, but with God. With Somebody done forsake something. He that cometh to him must believe that he is and he's a reward of them that diligently seek him. If you can just believe in Jesus, he will make the impossible possible. My God, he that cometh to God must. Oh, you know God know what to give up? 
He know what you're giving up. If you got to give up a second companion for the kingdom of God's sake, he know what you're giving up. He know what you're giving up. You got to give up your sweetheart, your lover, whatever you got to give up. Paul said those things which was dear to me. You're going to have to give up something that's very dear to you. Something that you love so much. But for Christ's sake, he said, I suffer the loss of all things. You got to give it up. For Christ's sake, I'm coming to you, Lord. He that coming to me must believe. You got to believe, I believe, Lord. You got to reward me. What we got Peter said. We have forsaken all. Jesus, Jesus. Yes. Yes. We have forsaken all. How much? All. All. And follow thee. You know, some people over here, that's why we got to see that we love one another. With a pure heart. Fervent. Some people don't give up everything to come to God. All we have is one another. No, we don't lose out with the natural family. Paul said, all men forsook me, but Christ took by me. You might have to lose a lot. Somebody might be close to you. They might turn their back on you. But let me tell you, my God, all we have is one another. But the Holy Ghost spake to Peter. And I'm coming on back there, hold that scripture. But get me uh, first Peter 2 and 9. We forsake him all to follow thee. Yeah. But my God, somebody said, I'm a part of the family of God. What well, a blessing to be a part of the family of God. First Peter. Chapter 2 and 9. But you are a chosen generation. Yes, I chose us. Yes, he did. We didn't chose ourselves. He chose us to walk this narrow way. But we are chosen generation of royal generation a royal a royal holy nation. I God I'm so glad to be with that holy nation. A holy nation. Yes, a peculiar people. What kind of people? A peculiar people. We're going to find us in every corner. But we are a peculiar people. That you should that show, for, should the show for the praise. He called you out of darkness. He called us. Out of darkness. To walk this narrow way. Call us out of darkness. It is marvelous life. It is a marvelous life. You know when the light turn on, you can't help but praise God. My God, you might have a few tests, a few conflict, but just to know that he called you out of darkness into this marvelous life is enough to make you praise God. It's enough to make you say, thank you, Jesus. It's enough to make Hallelujah to God. Why? Because he called us out of darkness. I go on back to old Peter. Then answer Peter. My God, Peter. I'm back in the back to you. My God. Hallelujah. Then answer Peter. Then answer Peter. Then answer Peter. Then said unto him. Said unto him. Behold, we have forsaken all. Wait a minute. My God. We were in our ship, men in the net, me and my brother Andrew. We were there fishing. You call us to come and follow you. We forsook our ship. My God, we left our ship. We left everything to come to follow you. Say you're going to make us fishers of men. Old James and his brother John. My God, they were in the ship with the Father Zebedee. He called them out the ship. They forsook the Father and the ship. So Peter said, we are forsaken all. Oh, follow thee. Hallelujah. You know, some 
somebody don't give up every day. Amen. My God, I'm leaving on yeah. to do what? Uh, to follow Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. I'll turn from all my foolish way. My God, read on. Then answered he that said unto him, said unto him, Oh, we have forsaken all and followed thee. And followed thee. What shall, what shall we have therefore? Read on. Jesus said unto them, Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto you, Oh, what a blessing to follow Jesus. Oh, you know he's going to pay us off for yeah. following him. Yeah. Listen to what he said. I say unto you, I say unto that you, that he which shall follow me, he which shall follow me, in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit. Hallelujah. Read on. In the throne of his glory, of his glory, he also shall sit upon the twelve thrones. My God, you got to pay us off. Read on. In the twelve tribes of Israel. Read on. And everyone that has forsaken houses or brethren. Wait, wait a minute. Go slowly with this. You know somebody done forsake what? And forsaken houses. Houses or brethren. Somebody done turn. Like said, brother, I'm going. Where are you going? I'm going. I'm going with the people of God. My brother won't come. But brother, if you don't come, I'm going on with Jesus anyhow. My God, our brethren. Or sister. Or sister. I love you. But my sister, I got to forsake all. I got to leave you. Don't let the flesh uh, stop you from coming to God. Read on. Yes, oh Father. My God, I forsook my father. Oh mother. Mother, I have a mother that I love so much. She wrap her arm around me. My God, and hug me around the collar. Somewhat running you away from the house. At the young age of 21, I say, I got to go. When I heard this gospel, she break down in tears. I shed a few tears, but I said, Mama, I'm going. Son, the house is new. So many days, my God, what running you away from the house? I said, Mama, I got to go. But I didn't know the scripture said you shall hear a voice yeah. behind him telling you this is the way. Walk therein. So I have to leave, Mama. My God, my God, for say, Mother! Oh, wife. Oh, wife. Oh, children. Don't let, because it's only for this life. Right. And in, if in this life only, yes. we have hope in Christ, Amen. we have all met. Whatever you got to give up to follow God, give it up. Amen. Give it up! Give it up! Read on, sir. Wife of children. Or, read on. Or lands. Out. Oh, hallelujah. Don't fight over a piece of land and lose your soul. Our land. For my name's sake. For who? For my name's sake. For my name's sake. Shall receive a hundredfold. Read on. And shall inherit everlasting life. Saints, just remember, everlasting life is in God. Oh, yes. Everlasting life. I got turned to Matthew. My God, what a mighty God. 16, my God, I have your understanding open to the truth of the gospel. Matthew chapter 16, 13. What a blessing, saints. I'm so glad. Hallelujah. Everlasting life is involved. Matthew 16 and verse 13. When Jesus came into the coast of Sessia, read on. He asked his disciples, saying, Read on. Who do men say that I the son of man? You know, Amen. everybody don't know who Jesus is. Amen. But somebody said, I'm so glad I know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. Amen. My God, you know, when you're understanding open, you are blessed. Yes. We have a lot to praise God for. Praise I'm God. so glad I know. Hallelujah. Everybody don't know. 
My God. So everybody, so many people are confused out there. But when you're understanding open and you know who Jesus is, it's something to rejoice about. Read on. Read on. Who you man said the I the son of man am? I the son of man am. And they said, they say, some said God John the Baptist. Some some. Say they are. You are John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Some say. Some. That's why you can't follow the crowd. That's it. You got to be sure about oh, your yeah. salvation. You got to run behind what some say, what yeah. this one say. You got to know it according to the word of God. Some say, that's why when I get up here, I, I preach it with all my heart. My God, some fall to make all men see. Some say, the Baptist. I'm the Baptist. Some realized they know the Jeremiah. Otherwise, they were just guessing. It seemed like they were just guessing. Mm -hmm. Some say Elias. Or some others. say Jeremiah. Or one other prophet. Otherwise, they were just confused. Amen. But God don't want us to confuse him. He come and give us an understanding. Yes. How one of the prophets, that means they didn't know. Read on. He said unto them, I am. whom say ye that I am? He said, I want to make sure you know yeah, oh yeah. who I am. Yeah. But the that said, we were with it in the holy mouth. My God, he that know who you are. Yeah, 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 yeah. My God, my God. Read on. He said unto them, but whom say ye that I am? Who say he that I am? Simon so Peter answered and said, Oh, I thank God for who Peter. Oh, Peter got it right. Simon ate the answer and said, God the Christ. We know who you are. You are the Christ. The Son of the Living God. I got you, God. The Son of the Living God. God was not without controversy. Great is the mystery of godliness. God! was manifested in the flesh. My God, you know, even the devil know who he is. My God, even the devil know who he is. The devil said, I know you. I know you. My God, you the whole one. You the one that cast me out. I know who you are. My God, you don't fool me. Even though you rock yourself in my body. I know you. You the one that cast me out. Oh, you come to torment me. The holy time. My God, my God. The devil know I need to believe this one God and tremble. But he have to believe God the Father, God the Son, God. I to believe his tree. But he know it's only one. Read on. Thou the Christ. You are the Christ. The son of the living God. Read on. Jesus answered unto him. Tell unto him. Bless your thy son of our John. You know you're blessed when you're understanding open. Oh, yeah. When you're understanding open to know who Jesus is. You are blessed. Blessed Simon Bojona. Simon Bojona. For flesh and blood has not revealed unto thee. Read on. But my father which is in heaven. Read on. I tell unto thee that thou art Peter. Thou art Peter. Upon this rock. My God, I'm going to build up on this rock. I will build my church. Give it on this spirit. I'm going to build my church. And the gates of hell. I, I want the world to know we in something no power on earth can prevail against it. Why? Because it's set up by God Almighty. He said, in the days that he is king, shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom that shall never be destroyed.
unto me. If I eat the dead, the keys of the keys of the gate of my heaven. What shall be thine shall bind on earth? God said, the bound of that earth shall be bound in heaven. Bound in heaven. What shall be thine shall be bound in the apostle? How did God read us? What shall be thine shall be loose in that earth? I shall be loose in heaven. Read on. They charged his disciples yes. that they should tell no man. No man. He was Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. Read on. From that time forth. Yes. Began Jesus to show his disciples. Read on. How that he must go into Jerusalem and suffer many things. Read on. All the elders and chief priests. All right. And, and be killed. Read, and read he on. might be raised again the third day. Yes. Then Peter took oh, him. All right. Yes. And began to rebuke him. Read on. I'm saying, be it far from thee. Far from thee. For this shall not be unto thee. Read on. Turn and sit under Peter. Read on. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art thence unto me. Read on. For thou saveth not the things that be of God. Read on. For those that be of men. Read on. Then said Jesus unto his disciples. This is what I want. If any All right, world. All right, creation. Listen to what is Jesus said. Then said Jesus unto his disciples. Yeah. If any man come, will come after me. Any man will come after me. Any woman will come after me. Let him deny himself. You know it's something you're going to have to deny. Oh, yes. It's something you're going to have to deny. Hallelujah. To follow Jesus. Yes. It might be. Hey, Lord God. Hey, tonight. What thing are getting to me? You know you're going to have to give it up to follow God? Read up. Let him deny himself and take up his cross. Take up his cross. And follow me. Read on. Who shall would save his life shall lose it. Whatever you're holding on to shall lose it. That life of pleasure. That life that you love so much. Don't let that life of sin cause you to lose eternal life. My God, read on. Who shall would save his life shall lose it. Shall lose it. Who shall would lose his life for my sake. That's it. I lose everything. I give up everything. That's what Peter said. We are forsaken all to follow thee. Whosoever will lose his life. His life. For my sake shall find it. I lost that natural life. But I found eternal life. Shall I find it? But well, what if a man profit? Well, what is a man profit? Listen this now. If he should gain the whole world. Go ahead. And gain, gain the, whole the whole world. And lose his own soul. The love. Amen. Don't let this worldly thing cause you to lose your soul. Let's sing a song more than a horn. You're going to need Jesus. When you come. To the end of your journey. Amen. It's going to be an end below. You're going to need him to be your very best friend. Oh, yeah. One is a man prophet. Oh, Go ahead and count up the cost. Go ahead and add it up. But he said, what is a man prophet? If he gain the whole world. Go ahead and gain the whole he world. lose his own soul. You're going to lose your soul? For this worldly life again, your soul and lose his own soul. What shall a man give in exchange for his soul? In exchange for his soul. Get the Psalms 49 of the even four before time, family. In a, in, what you going to give in exchange for your soul? I don't care if you have mansion. No. Say you can be a cathedral, Lord. Yeah. Are small. Yeah. But only what yeah. you do for Christ. Yeah. That's what God is Hallelujah. Read on. 49 and 4. I will incline my ears to the fair. Read on. I will open my mouth. My, I will open my dark saying. Read on. From the heart. Read on. Wherefore shall I fear? Read on. In the day of evil. In the day of evil. When the iniquity of my heels shall come past me about. Read on. They that trust in their wealth. Thank you, Lord. You're going to let your wealth cause you to lose your soul? No, sir. Do you hear what is it? They that trust in their wealth. They that trust in your wealth. And boast themselves in the multitude of their riches. Some people boast 
how wealthy, how rich they are. Yeah. Read on. None of them can be by any means redeem his brother. Do you hear what the Holy None Ghost said? All your money and all your riches cannot redeem your brother. Amen. Read on. The guilty died a ransom for you. You can't pay off God. Glory to God. Amen. All your money, you'd be a billionaire. Amen. Yes. You can't pay God off. My God, you can't pay God off. Hallelujah. So what you got to do? My God, you better humble yourself. Amen. That's why we are so happy in God. That's why we are over here praising God. I encourage you, you out there that have trouble, you need to come in God's church. Oh, yes. Don't stay out there, beloved. Ain't no time to be confused. Amen. You better get me, St. John chapter uh, 4, for chapter of St. John and verse and verse 19. God don't want us to be confused. He come and he give us an understanding. That's why on the day of Pentecost, my God, Peter opened the uh, I, I mean down there he, he opened the apostle understanding. Yeah. So on the day of Pentecost, Peter preached it because his understanding was exactly. open. Listen what the word of God said. In St. John chapter 4, let me work against time before it run out of me. The woman said unto him, the woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that our prophet. Otherwise, she were confused. Yeah. She were confused just like the one up there in Matthew 30. Some say, there was John the Baptist. Some the lies. Some say, one of the prophets. The they were confused. God don't want us to be confused. Amen. Read on. I perceive that thou art prophet. Read on. Our father worship in the mountain, and ye say that in Jerusalem is the place. Read on. The men ought to worship. Ought to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman. Woman. Believe me. Believe the me. The hour coming. The hour coming. When she said, Get in this mountain. Read on. No, ye at Jerusalem worship the father. Worship the father. Ye worship ye know not. He worship. You know not what? What a blessing when you know it. My God says we are blessed Amen. when our understanding open. He worships. He know not what. Why we have to pray for the people Amen. that God give you understanding Amen. so you can understand the truth of the gospel. Don't just follow the crowd. He worships. No, not what. No, not what. We know. We know. What we know. Hallelujah. What a blessing. That's why Paul said we know in whom we believe. And we are persuaded. I want the world to know. We know. What we worship. That's why you need to come with us. Why? Because we know. Yeah, well, what we worship. worship. But salvation is of the Jews. Read on. But the hour coming. The hour coming. And now is. And now when is. When the true worshiper oh. shall worship the Father. Shall worship the Father. In spirit. Glory. Read on. And in truth. And in truth. For the Father seeketh such a worship. Read on. God is his spirit. Uh, uh, God, do you hear what the word says? God is his God spirit. God is a spirit. And they that worship him must, must, must worship him. God us spirit and in truth. How we want us to worship him. In spirit and in truth. In spirit and in truth. Must, 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 must. 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 Yes. So maybe so about it. Must. It's a must. 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 Worship it. In spirit. In spirit. And in truth. In truth. For the Father seek it. For the Father. Yes. I guess I run out. I don't see the light. I don't know what's going on. But anyhow. I'm finished. Yes, sir. All right. You got to repent. I call to Acts chapter 2, 36. Yes. Therefore, we are. Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assured that God has made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now, when they heard this, 
they will break in your heart. And to tell them to Peter and to the rest of the apostles, men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ, for the remission of sin, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. All right, this is what you must do. He must accept a man be born. Yes. He cannot, again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. All right, write to us, call us up. We'll be back next week, Lord's Women, same station, same hour, the same day. You can call us at 718 584-06-91. International caller can call us by what's at at 803-518-5454. You can also visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Then you can visit us on the web at www.theholytemplechurch.net. Until then, may God richly bless you as our prayers. Corinthians 1 26 is a blessing, saints. I don't take this light. Just to be chosen by God is a great blessing. I'm saying it's a blessing to be chosen by God. Apostle Paul spake these words. For you see your calling, brethren. My God. You know, you ought to see your calling. Yes. You see your calling, brethren? Are they not many wise men after the flesh? Not many wise men after the flesh. No after the flesh. No, not mighty, not many mighty men. Hallelujah. That's right. I see my calling. Not many wise men after the flesh. After the 
flesh. Yes, not Lord. many mighty nor many noble are called. Mm -hmm. Not many mighty men. Not many mighty. Mm -hmm. Not many noble. Yes, I'll call. I'll call? But God has chosen the foolish things of Take the world. Take that people to the Yes. Yeah, I, see. I see God Almighty. He chose us. The foolish things. My God says, hallelujah. You know, we didn't chose ourselves, but God chose us. My God, Paul said, when he prayed, that separated from his mother womb. To reveal it unto him. You know you are blessed when this thing revealed to you. That's a blessing saying, my God. I see why those apostles took off and went on preaching the word of God. They went on running, my God, and wouldn't look back. What you say, Paul? My God, Paul, state his word in Galatians chapter 1 and verse 15. My God, when it please, but when it please, I don't God. say you're gonna please everybody. <laughs> I see my visiting sister get up and sing a beautiful song. I saw, I saw Deacon. I'm looking at Deacon, very cool worker. And I, not by accident, but God is the one bringing us together. Ohio and all around. We just have a wonderful week of service here. Seeing a missionary conference. My God, I see God bringing his people together. It's not a us. That's why we have to receive who God put in the body. Yes. I heard Bishop Lewis say it's not a us. But who Bishop Lewis? God saw him in Montgomery, Alabama. And brought him out. My God, wherever he brought you from, you have something to thank God. I praise God. If for us ever thank Christ Jesus, my Lord, is something to thank God for when he put you in the place you're in the church. What he say? When it please God, who separate me from my mother's womb. I got my brother sit up here. He didn't preach. He got mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh yes, he did. He testified. Tell me you are Bishop Goodwin Needle. Goodwin. He said you done lost him. <laughs> but I didn't let that stop me. Yeah. 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 I keep running on. Somebody say I'm running on with Jesus anyhow. Test gonna come, but you might have to be alone. But run on with Jesus anyhow. True tribulation. I'm going on with Jesus anyhow. Don't tell me if you gotta take a well made up mind. You can make it. God brought me here at the age of 21. Didn't know no family member. Nobody in here came in here at the age of 21. But I keep my eyes on the word of God. Well, it please God. I separate me from my mother's womb. He's the one which separate me from my mother's womb. From my mother's womb. You call me by his grace. Huh? Call me by his I grace. My God, we are the call of God. He called me by his grace. By his grace. He revealed his son in me. You know when this thing revealed to you? My God is a blessing. To be, you have an act to praise God for. Amen. To reveal his son in me. And I might preach him among the heathen. Read up. And me like a friend out with flesh oh, and love. You gotta stay there. Try to make. That's why Paul said, if I yet please man. Yes. I never. Be a servant of Jesus Amen. Christ. You try to Amen. get your whole family to remember. Oh, I've been to a church. Oh, my God. It sounds so good. And then, by the time they finish with you, they're talking all out. Amen. That's why Paul said, if I yet please man, I'll never be a servant of Jesus Christ. Can't burn that with flesh and blood. Yes. But what? Neither went out to Jerusalem. My God said, you know when you get this thing, you got, you got to save yourself. Amen. 
You're going to suffer a lot. You're going to go through a lot of tests. But can you glory in that testimony? Listen, listen what Paul went through. Listen, after he got in the church, people get mad with you for coming in God's church. But you didn't put yourself in the church. You know who put you in the church? You better get me. I think Jeremiah spake those words. In Jeremiah, my God, Jeremiah 31 and verse 1. At that time, Listen what Jeremiah said. At that same time. At, at that, that same time. time read on. The Lord God, he's the God of all family of Israel. He's the God of all family. All family of Israel. Read on. And they should be my people. What? They should be my people. Somebody said you brought the Lord. You paid the price. And now it belongs to you. What a blessing to be a child of God. Yeah. They shall be my people. Thus said the Lord. Thus said the Lord. The people which were left of, left others who have found grace in the wilderness. Saints, you don't know how glad I am. I found grace. Grace in the wilderness. We found grace. Yes, Lord. We found grace. Yes, we found grace. Yes. His grace and mercy. He is the Father of mercy. My God, we found grace in the wilderness. We found grace. Yes. We found grace. Yes. In the wilderness. Even Israel. Even Israel. When I went to cause him to rest. Read on. The Lord appeared unto all of old. Read on. Unto me saying. Same. Yea. Yea. I have loved thee with the everlasting love. Yes. Men love not everlasting. Amen. I hate to say it, but men can love you a million and day. That's it. Look at something go wrong. Yes. One minute, the next minute, where's the Lord, brother? Praise the Lord. That's what I thought we were just. Men love will change. Oh, but yeah. God love is unconditional. I love you, I love you. I love you. The everlasting love. What kind of love? Everlasting love. God love is everlasting. That's why somebody said, I can do what? Depend on God. Through the storm, through the rain, you can depend on God because His love is an everlasting. What's his name? That's his vision. Now when I see love, you might be in the valley, brother Vincent. But just remember, somebody say he cares. He cares. I know my blessed Savior cares. Why? He loved me with an everlasting love. Therefore, Hallelujah. Oh, saints. That's why I love God with love and kindness. We didn't come here by ourselves. He drew us on in here. That's why it's a scene that we love one another with a pure heart. Perfectly. Being born again. God love us. How? With an everlasting love. Realize. Therefore, with loving kindness. With loving kindness. I drawn thee. Have I drawn thee? Have I drawn thee? We were drawn in here. Amen. His loving kindness. Yes, it, is. it draws on in here. Amen. That's why we can't help but love God. Amen. Paul, after Paul got in the church, you know what Paul called him? In, in I think in Second uh, Corinthians chapter, I believe it's in the chapter uh, one and verse uh, third verse, but you can go up. From verse 1, Second Corinthians, what a blessing. Paul called him the Father of mercy. Oh, yeah. The God? Yes. You know you can get comfort in God's saints. Paul said, all men forsook him. But God stood by him. And don't worry about what you confronted with. 
as long as God's standing by you, you will come out with the victory. Read on. to you and peace from God the Father. Read on. And from the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. That should be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why it casts all your cares on him. Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, the Father of Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy. Who? Who he is? The Father of mercy. And the God of all comfort. Thank you, Lord. My brother told me, there is comfort in God. Amen. His mommy went on, his brother had a yeah. with him. But oh, go this head on. Oh, yes. Go this head on. Sometimes, man, you might have to cry sometimes. Somebody said, trouble in my way. I got to cry sometimes. But that's all right. Who God, you know, God fixes it for, for, uh, for, for, no, after me can go this, he was down there, he been through a lot, I see his suffering, been with me, but then God gave him somebody to, uh, in the flesh, uh, to give him the natural comfort. God turned around and bless him with all. Yes. Yes. God, go, go there all the time, go this, go home to the empty house. God give us, give him somebody else. There ain't no way to this can be silent. She's so happy, jumping all around the house. She's so full of joy. And if we want to go this time again, see. We're working out for you. You know what to do. Just turn it over to God, saints. If you turn it over to God, God know how to work it out. Bless us! Be God. Be God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father of mercy. Saints, he is the Father of mercy. Just remember, he is the Father of C.L. Murray. Talk about how God showing the love and loving kindness and mercy. How God brought back his son Alex. And he said, come on back. I'm going to take you on to church. My God then sister Vicky working. And he said, come on down. My God know how to fix it. He know how to fix it. My God is the father. Father mercy. Father of mercy. And the God of all comfort. Saints, you're going to hit some hard spot along this highway of holiness. Yes. But just remember, he is the Father of mercy. The God of all comfort. You know you can find comfort in God. Yes. When it seems like every man falls and all men forsook him. But God stood by him and strengthened him. My God, when it seems like everything going against you, you don't know how you're coming out. Just remember, bless us. Be the God. Be the God. Even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Read on. The Father of mercy. Says, just turn it over. Sometimes I'm facing things. I'm not going to. It get rough sometimes. Oh, yes. But I tell God. You, the Father of mercy. Yes. Lord, I know you're able. If you don't help me, who else gonna help me? If you don't bring me out, who else gonna bring me out? You know, God loves when we can acknowledge it. He said, in all our ways, which, you know, God loves when you come to him and acknowledge it. I tell God, if you don't bring me out, Lord, who else going to bring me out? Lord, you promise you won't leave me. You promise you won't forsake me. Come on, Jesus. You the Father of mercy. Don't be afraid, saints, to open your mouth and talk to the Father of mercy. The Father of to do is come boldly before the throne of grace so you can find help that is able to help us 
it is time. You know, trouble gonna come. Oh, yes. But remember, we got a God. When you are when you are away from all humanity, seems like nobody dealing with you. You got a God. He is the Father of mercy. The Father of mercy. Of mercy. The God of all comfort. He is the God of what? All comfort. You know, God, you can find comfort in God. That's it, Bishop. You know, the, the Jonah, Jonah went down to the bottom. You know, I don't care how low you go down. Amen. God can pick you up. Yeah. Jonah went down to the bottom. Jonah said, all hope was done taken away. Yeah. Seemed like there was no way out. But Jonah, in Jonah chapter 2 and 1, then Jonah prayed. Saints, we got to know how to pray our way out. Yeah. That's it. Don't be afraid to talk to God. Pray you were out of that condition. The test gonna come. But remember, you got a God. Don't care how bad it looks. You can pray your way out. You can talk to God Almighty. Then Jonah do what? Then Jonah prayed he, to the Lord his God. He prayed. Hallelujah. Oh, come on, come on. You the father of mercy. I need help. Yes, Lord. When Hezekiah heard from Isaiah, set your house in order. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Yeah. Set your house in order. All right. Then Jonah prayed. I guess you got to go to work, brother. I shall help her again. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry. And that's all right. We enjoy your presence here. I shall help her again. All right. Yes. Read right on. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord, his God. His God. Out of the fish belly. Say, I'm saying, regardless what the condition, what the situation, you can pray your way out. That's it, Bishop. I don't care how low you go down. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm telling you. Amen. You can pray your way out. Amen. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. Out of the sing kingdom. a song said, if you pray, yes. you got the key. Yes. You know, prayer? Yes. Will I lock something for you? Come yes. on. In prayer. Unto the Lord his God. Unto the Lord his God. Out of the fish belly. I don't care what you're confronted with. You can pray your way out. Out of the fish belly. And said, I cry by reason of my affliction. Sometimes you know you got to know to cry to God. Yeah. That's yeah. it, Bishop. I cry. By reason of my affliction. Somebody say, I cry. Yes. You know, I'm going to cry, Brother Ross. Praise God. Brother Ross, man, I know how to cry. Sometimes you got to get the word like a little child. Tears running all over your face. Well, I'm crying. I need help, Lord. Ah, sometimes, you know, every man, God don't want us to come. So, be like a big person. He want us to come to us. Oh, yes. He want to come humble and sell and become like a little child. Sometimes things don't press me. But I cry. Sometimes I stay there all night till six. I got up and more, got off my knees. It was uh, almost five o'clock this morning. But you know you got to care this life. But you got to put it to God. I cry. By reason of my affliction. By reason of my affliction. My God, by reason of my affliction. Unto the Lord, and he heard me. Sometimes you can't cry to everybody. You got to know how to take that thing to God. Can you put it before God? The Bible says she put her list before God. Can we put that thing you're facing before God? I cry! 
unto the Lord. Oh, yeah. I love to cry. I love to cry before him. I cry. Of my place, yeah? You know, the late Bishop Rafferty couldn't. Well, I didn't love to see him cry. He break down like a baby and start crying. Oh, my father. Then him overseas, and I know he was going through a lot of the foreign field. We sleep in the same bed, we have one bed in the same room, and my God, he's the son, I know you got to go sleep. But then he got, I, I thought he going to sleep because we have a rough trip, three hours hard trip. My God got in a boat, three, four o'clock, and he said, all right, we got to get up. For the next journey, you gotta leave out early, left in the morning. But I thought he'd gone in the bed. But then I got was so tired, I could hardly get my clothes and say, I want water. And lay in the bed, I went to show up. I went to die, I just laid like a, all of a sudden, I thought he'd gone to sleep. I heard a sound. I said, what the world going on? And I'm sleeping. I could hardly get my eyes. Oh, when I opened my eyes, and I looked, and he was done. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I said, my God, what's going on? I said, ain't no way I'm going to sleep in this bed. God, I have to run out of the bed, get on that hardwood floor. Meanwhile, he's down there wrestling. And I start wrestling and crying out myself. Saints, you know, you got to know to cry to God. God, this is a praying journey. You know, you got to pray your way out over here. Read on. I cry by reason of my affliction. Of my affliction. Unto the Lord, and he heard me. Who heard him? He heard me. God is a prayer answering God. He heard me. And I heard my voice. You know God is a, you know God will hear your voice? Amen. One place, one place, you know what Jeremiah said, don't hide your ear from the breathing. Hear the breathing that I breathe. Yes, it's Bible. Jeremiah, you got it all to cry. That lamentation, third chapter, I think is the 55th verse. You got to know how to get down to that place, saints, where you can cry. Don't you don't go too low for God to hear and bring you out. Amen. I don't care how low you go down. God is a prayer answering God. God wants us to cry out to Him. Read on. What is it? Lamentation. Third chapter, the fifty-fifth verse. I, believe I call upon the name of the Lord. What? I call upon the name of the Lord. Oh, you Lord. know God wants us to call upon the name. Right. You got to know how to open your mouth. Yes. Saints are not. Uh, Sometimes my whole flesh hurting, body tired, fasting and everything. But I lay before God all night long. Come on, Jesus. If you don't help me, who else gonna help me? If you don't bring me out, who else gonna bring me out? How do you say? I call. Oh, my name, oh Lord. You gotta know how to call. Somebody say, I call. I call. I got an answer. I call. Upon thy name. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Sometimes you're down so low. Amen. My God, he said, he put it so low in the low. Every time he opened his mouth, to put it back in the dungeon. But he said, I call upon thy name. Oh, Lord, out of the low dungeon. I don't care how low you go down. You don't go down too low for God to hear you. He's a prayer answering God out of the low dungeon. Breathing. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you're breathing heavy. 
Look, my God, he said, Lord, oh, don't hide your ear. Don't hide your ear. From my breathing. From my breathing. At my cry. Oh, Lord, look up at the tears, Lord. He see your very tears. My God said, you can get away and cry out to God Almighty. My God, because you know what he said? In Isaiah, I believe, 65 and 24. Therefore, you call. I will answer. Huh? I will answer. God said, before you call. That's why the devil don't want us to call. He don't want us to call. But if I got to call all night, he said before we call, I will answer. Huh? I will answer. You know God is a prayer answering God. He said before we call, ah, I, I will answer. Do you hear what? And he's a God that cannot lie. He said it is impossible for God to lie. While the enemy talking, I'm crying. I'm praying. Therefore, your call. I'm God. God said, He's going to answer. We're trying to get the word out. We yet speaking. God promise. I'm going to hear you. I'm going to bring you out. I don't care how bad it is. God is a deliverer. God is a way.
David know who is me. David know the one that delivered him from the lion and the bear. Just remember, if he brought you through that test, he will bring you through the one you're facing now. I God said, Lord, you brought me through this, and you brought me through that. I'm so grateful. I'm so thankful. The same God that bring me through that test, he's the same God that bring me through. The one I'm facing now. David said, yeah, go. I'm walking through the body of the shadow of death. I won't feel no evil. Coming out of age, the Egyptian got the hand. 
but right God is with you. He know how to fight for you. My God, he go before you. Come behind me. I God, he know how to lead you out. Because God is with his people. Fight him not against the Lord God of your father. Don't fight against somebody God is with. Don't fight against God, people. Fight him not. Yes. Against who? Against the Lord God of your father. For he shall, for ye shall not prosper. Do you hear what he's saying? He shall not prosper. I'm trying, you know, I used to wonder. Bishop Goodwin used to preach. And he seemed like he got begging them, whatever you do, don't fight. He told them. He said, whatever you do, don't fight. Why? You can't prosper fight in God, people. Because God said he's going to be an enemy to your enemy. An adversary to your adversary. It shall come out against you one way and flee before the seven way. See, I will make you the head and not the tail. You're gonna, I'm going to put you above only and not be beneath. When God is with his people, Jonah, did Jonah went down? He went down to the land. Oh, yes. But you know God was with him? He said, he prayed, that's your victory says. You don't go too low for God to Come bring on, you. Listen, that's it. You may be way down, yes, sir. but He know to pick you. Oh, yes. Sometimes it seems like it. I'm God out from humanity, but God know how to come to your rescue. Yes, when I call, when I alone, He will come. He will come. Tell him. You know, sometimes I tell come see about us. Your children need you. Lord. Come on, Lord. Hey, we got to have a laugh. Tell God about it. Read on. And behold, God himself is with us. Saints, God is with us. And if we abide in him, his word abide. Yes. Then he said, ox. Yes. Are you afraid to talk to God? God? He's such a great big God. Tell me where Jonah comes. Jonah. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God. You know you can pray your way out at condition. Hold down a hair at prayer. And yes, to, to thee shall all flesh come. Yes. You know you can pray your way out oh, at condition. Yes. Read up. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the Christ belly. Read up. And said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto right. the Lord. Read up. And he heard me. He, out of the belly of hell. Out of the belly of hell. Cry I. Read up. And thou heardest my voice. Read up. And thou hast cast me into the deep. Sometimes you're out there into the deep. In the midst of the sea. In the midst. Whatever you're wrapped up in, God is a deliverer. 
Whatever you're wrapped up in right now, God can bring you out. Read on of the sea. The flood can pass me about. Everything come passing about. And the billows and the waves pass over me. Read on. Then I say, I am cast out of thy sight. Read on. Yet, yet, I will look again towards thy holy temple. Don't give up. Don't give up on God. That's it. Bishop. Whatever you're facing right now, he's a way maker. Whatever you're wrapped up and have you wrapped up, Jonah say you were wrapped about his neck. Sometimes things wrap you up, but you know you can pray your way out. Oh, yes. Read on. Yes, the water can pass me about. Read on. Even to the soul. Read on. It kept closing me round about, and the weeds were wrapped about my head. The weeds got him wrapped up. About my head. Whatever got you wrapped up, God is a way maker. He's a deliverer. God can break that yoke. Oh, yes. Set the captive free. Read on. I went down to the bottom of the mountain. Sometimes you feel like you're going down, down, down to the bottom of the mountain. Of the mountain. The earth with her bars. Read on. About me forever. Sometimes it will wrap about you forever. He has uh, brought me up. God will bring you out. My life from corruption. From corruption. Oh Lord my God. Oh Lord my God. When my soul fail within me. I don't care what you're up against, saints. He said when your soul faileth within. I remember the Lord. If you can just remember the Lord. Whatever you're battling right now. Don't so never give up on God. Because God said. He will not leave you. And he won't forsake you. What are you worth? Jehoshaphat, everybody tell Jehoshaphat, there come a great multitude. See, like when you conquer one thing, a next thing coming. But you got to keep conquering. Once they say, we are more than conquering. If God is with you, and you know he is with you, you got to come on out. They told him, enemy will try to make you afraid. This coming at you. This coming at you. The next thing coming at you. But if you can just remember the Lord. I'm telling you, beloved, if you hold your confidence in God, you will come out with the victory. Everything. Jehoshaphat was battling so many things. And sometimes you get news is not always good news. Sometimes you're looking for some good news and you get evil. But you know you gotta fight in good reports, oh, in yes, evil reports. Sometimes they feel sometimes you can't see evil tell them. Bad news come, good news come, but can you not remember God? You gotta know how to fight. To ask if I get some evil report. So before they all coming up against him. But you know what Jehoshaphat did? He said himself. That's first God, second Chronicles 20, I believe, and verse 20. You know what Jehoshaphat did? He cried. You know you gotta know how to cry out to God. You know you gotta oh say sometimes it's gonna get rough and it's gonna get tough. But as long as you know God is with you, are you afraid? You say, you got God in you? God said, greater yes. is he that is in you. Yes. You got the great God in you? The devil want to, oh, he, he, he. The devil want to overpower. Don't let him overpower you with God in you. The one that made everything. What is it? Oh, our God. Talk to God. Will thou not judge them? Will thou not judge them? Do we have no might against this great company. Amen. Sometimes you go up against things you don't know how you're coming. Amen. But say, Lord, I'm turning over to you. Will thou not judge them? Do we have no might against this great company. Sometimes you're facing something. Have no might against this great company. They're coming against us. Is everything going to come against you? Sometimes it's so much Amen. coming yeah. against yes, a child of God. Yes. It's so many things coming up against a child of God. Read on. Yes, neither know we what to do. 
Sometimes you don't know what to do. Yes, but I want you to know that our eyes are upon thee. Saints, that's what I want to leave with you. Keep your eyes on God. God say he will never leave us nor forsake us so that we may boldly say, yes. Sometimes you don't know how you're coming out. Yes, Bishop. But keep your eyes Hallelujah. on God. Hallelujah. That's what I want to leave with you today. Keep your eyes on God. Our eyes are upon thee. Who your eyes on? Our eyes are upon thee. Lord, I'm going to keep my eyes on. As long as you keep your eyes on God, God said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So that you may boldly say, the Lord says, hold your confidence in God. The battle is not yours. Turn it over to God. Finish. My eyes are upon thee. Upon thee. And all you that stand before the Lord. Stay before God, saints. Right. Sometimes you can call this one, call this one. You call in somebody that can't help you. Amen. But when you keep your eyes on God, Paul said, I know. In who? And what? You know, you've got to be fully persuaded. Well, persuaded yeah. Yeah. If you're not persuaded, you start complaining to this God. That's yeah. one. Oh, and yes. Sometimes you, you can't say a word. Yeah. Sometimes you can't say a mumbling word. Amen. Yeah. Not a mumbling word. Be happy. Hold your confidence in God. I'm telling you, say, keep your eye. I don't care about the condition. Look. You know what the Elijah was looking at the condition? He said, go look again. Yes. Servant said, I don't see nothing. Keep your eyes on God. Oh. Our eyes yes, are upon thee. Are upon thee. And all Judah still before the Lord. Just stay there. Oh, yeah. Just stay there. Oh, I'm down here, Lord. What you doing? Waiting I'm waiting on you. I can't do nothing until you come. You know, God have a set time. He's going to come to your rescue. God know how to come and pull you out. He told Paul, no man shall lay hands upon you to hurt you because I'm with you. Just stay there before God. If you got to cry, I cry all night long. My God, I believe the victory is coming. If I got to shed a few tears, nothing wrong with shedding a few tears. Read on. My eyes are upon thee. Upon thee. And all you still before the Lord with the little ones and wives and their children. Stay there. The little ones. And their little ones and the wives and their children. We, we have all night prayer here. Sometimes they bring the little children. Read on. Yes, then. Then upon Jehazah, Real. the son of Zechariah, the Real. son of Benaiah, the Real. son of Jewel, Real. the son of Nathaniah, Real. The, Real. The, of the son of Asher, came the Spirit of the Lord. Say, that's what built the church. Here came the Spirit of the Lord. In the midst of the congregation. In the midst of the congregation. He said, hearken ye. Hearken ye. All Judah and ye have it in Jerusalem. Read up. And thou king of Jehoshaphat. Jehoshaphat. Thus said the Lord unto you. Do you hear God talking to us? Yes, sir. Thus said the Lord unto you. He not afraid of his name. Do you hear what, the, what God said? The devil wanted to make, get us down and make you afraid and oh, make yes. you upset. Amen. Looking at the condition. Seem like you're getting worse. But hold your confidence in God. Cast it away, therefore, your confidence. Have such great recompense of reward. Have need of patience after you've done the will of God. It's coming. Read on. Be not afraid of this name. Why are you letting that condition, condition get you? you? You serve the great God that made everything. He made the heaven. Yes, he he made the earth. Without him, there is nothing made that is made. He made everything. And he rolled us up out of the dust. You need to tell. He knew it, our friend. Yes. All our members. 
they, they know they that when something go wrong, hey God, are you afraid to open your mouth and tell God, come see about me? Read up, close yes, it. Yes, be not afraid of this thing by the reason of this great multitude. Don't let that multitude, don't let that test your face and get you down. Yes. Don't let that problem you're facing. Do you hear what God said? Yeah. Be not afraid. Be not afraid. Nor dismay. Nor dismay. By reason of this great multitude. Why? For the battle is not yours. That's what I want to leave with you, say. Remember. Can you not turn that back over to God? Can you not move yourself out God's way and turn it over to God and let Jesus let him fix it for you? Father, back off! But God. But who? But God. Did he brought out Jonah? Brought out Jehoshaphat? The battle is not yours? But God. But who? But God. But God? Read up. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Go you down against them. Read up. Behold, they came up by the cliff. Read up. This, and you shall find that at the end of the book. God know where you're in the line. Read up. Before the wilderness to Jerusalem. Read up. You should not need to fight in this battle. Sometimes you don't prepare yourself and like, no, I can't do this. God come in and give you the victory. They God have an expected end. Oh, yes. no way. You don't prepare to do something oh, and hear yes, from God while you're yes. sleeping. My yes. God, my God, the power of the Lord was yes. present yes. to heal the people. Right. You know God present yes. here right, right now. Yes. If you can just believe God right now, oh, you can yes. go out the door and get your victory. Right where you're sitting right now yes. when you get up. Why? Because the power of is present to heal the people. Turn it over to God. God will fix it. What is that? He shall not. He shall not. Neither fight in this battle. Fight in this battle. Let yourself stand still. Stand still. And see the salvation of the Lord. Just give God a chance. You don't have to fight. Somebody here not yet baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. When they heard this, yes. they were pricking the hearts and had to be dressed up their pastor, men and brethren, what shall you do? So repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. That's your first step. You got to make that stop. I can and stay with God. God bless you. God keep you. We love you. Pray for me. I pray.